Yeah, we can do that. Uh -huh. So here we are tonight in the Bronx, New York area of New York City. Ooh. Talking to up and coming artist Santiago as he goes by. Hey guys, what's up? Getting to know him a little bit and uh, what his music's about, what his art's about, what his craft is about. So, mm -hmm. shall we start? Yeah. Can I just bombard you with questions? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Right. Set shoot, you up shoot, for shoot, shoot. success here. Nah. <laughs> so I guess we'll begin with the cliche. Who is Santiago? Who is Santiago? Who is Santiago? Um, Santiago is this artist that is trying to help bring art to make it more accessible to the world. In what way? Um, by trying to like. Sh lead by example, or not not lead by example, by like trying to show that there are other means of making art other than throwing money at something, or, or there are other ways of getting art to you other than having to buy it or buy into it, you know? You think that's a problem with art these days? I do, yes, yeah, I really do. I think it's very inaccessible because of like the price of admission to just go see art is in is not is not like feasible for like a normal family or normal people. It's becoming an elite kind of um, social circle that is not like penetrable. Like and, and art is too beneficial to like society to to like kind of. Um, Exclude it, yeah, to like keep it away from people. So now, do you find that more in metropolitan areas it becomes a little bit more inaccessible uh, as opposed to maybe suburban or? I think. I mean, I'm I'm not like I'm not a, I'm not a areas. leading expert <laughs> on the subject, but like I find that yeah, it tends to be that only because in me more metropolitan areas the cost of living is higher. So like performances are higher, the like the the amount of talent that's in the areas is a little bit more like what people generally want to go see and do and everything. So it's like that's why like LA and like New York, why those places like have them, but but at the same time like it doesn't make it like it needs to be seen. And like, in by cutting like, um, cutting off all the people that need to see it, you're like kind of defeating yourself. You know what I mean? Almost limits who the audience really needs. Exactly. So. Okay, where did the name come from? Well. Or why decide to go with that? Well, it's actually my middle name. My full name is Kevin Santiago Pinierro. Pinierro. Um, nice roll on the R's there. Thank you. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> my Spanish is lousy, but like, I make up for it. I make up for my Hispanic like heritage in other ways. Like, I cook better than anybody's abuela. Like, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, the name. The name. Thank you. No oh problem. my God. No Sometimes problem. I gotta be kept on track. Like <laughs> a circles, a circles. Of, like I thought. Um, it's my middle name. Uh, my mom named me after, um, the, well, there's, like, a lot of people, but, like, my grandmother's aunt's husband, I think, his name is Santiago, and then I think also your brother, your uncle's name is Santiago, too. Um, so there was, like, a lot, and because she was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, like, there's, like, the biblical version of the name and stuff, so, like, there's that. And why did you choose to use that as your stage name, so to speak? Um, so, all my life, like, I kind of, like, kept it, like, a secret. Like, no one really, like, knew what my middle name was. Like, I only, like, had it as Kevin S. Pinero. So, like, I was, like, always, like, told, like, kids, I was, like, what, what do you think it is? And they were, like, Steve. <laughs> So, like, like I don't even know, like Stefan. Like, I, mean, I don't know what are all these team names, but um, Sarah. <laughs> I was like, what? No, um, 
but they would be guessing and they could never guess it. And in my like Spanish classes, like in like language arts classes, language in like language classes, you had to like choose a, a name from that language to go by. I would always choose Santiago because like for some reason that wasn't one of the names to be chosen. Hmm. But I was like, it's my middle name, so I was like, I'm gonna use it. And then people were like, oh, you think you're cool because you're Hispanic and <laughs> you know Spanish names. I was like, yeah. And then they still couldn't guess like that was my middle name. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah. So I thought it was like appropriate. To perform as Santiago. What about Retro Mutt? Where does that come from? Those are what your handles are under mostly? Well, yeah. So like